This is an empty terminal that I'm standing in here right now, but on Friday night, this is where the Olympic journey began for more than 150 members of the Canadian Olympic delegation, including 74 athletes. We had the women's rugby team here, members of the swimming team, members of the track and field team, all here getting ready to board a 10-hour flight to Rio. And we had many athletes here heading to their first Olympic Games. And as you can imagine, as they waited to get on that plane, there were some jitters here in this lounge. It's a bit of a roller coaster. I mean, the emotions hit in waves. Um, sometimes I can't believe it's already here. Other times I'm, you know, I, it's it's a, a pretty exciting moment. Like it's kind of starting to get real. And when we get there, uh, I only have a week before I start racing, so I'm really excited. I was just in bed, and I wasn't. I try to not to get overwhelmed by the thoughts of going to the Olympics. And then last night, it just kind of hit me for actually the first time, and I just. It was just, I was like, oh my God. You know, it's the pinnacle of, you know, all the uh, amateur, amateur sport in the world. And, you know, it's something that every athlete really, really s strives for. I mean, I just want to kind of have fun, you know, um, enjoy the moment and just be, be relaxed and everything. Something else interesting about this flight is the fact that it was a commercial flight. It was a Boeing 777 with about 300 seats on it, meaning there were well over 100 seats that were sold to the general public. And that meant some of the people that showed up here to get on this flight were actually going to watch the Olympics in Rio. Little did they know they would be sharing this plane with a number of the athletes that they had tickets to go and watch. Greg Ross, CBC News at Pearson International Airport.